previously on Meet the Zoomers. Kalau di Indonesia sebenarnya banyak tim kompetitif buat Mobile Legends, tapi buat di scene ladiesnya itu ada sekitar tujuh, dan tim aku sekarang, tim Delvin, tuh ada di posisi kayak yang di akhir. I actually paid about 1.5k sing for this piece. This is actually one of the first few sneakers that got me started into my own collection. If you were to ask me if I give him all this extra money to buy this luxury item, I'm not. I only give him weekly allowance. The rest, he make it on himself. Zoomers. They've had two years of their youth robbed by a pandemic. I just call myself and it's positive. There's some human contact, please. I'm dying. They've seen a world order upended by an invasion. Today, the sirena was for three hours, and I was sitting in this atmosphere on this floor all the time. They know not a lie before smartphones. Oh, my God. It's a button phone, man. That's all you can use it. What's it like being a teenager today? <laughs> Filmed over six months. Oh, yeah, that. I'm going with that. It's the worst thing to me, that. We pry into the offline and online worlds of five teenagers. Can we look at what you're doing now? What are you doing on your phone? 35 hours. Can you do it on Instagram? I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to analyze what kind of programs you use without using your mobile phone. In 2020, the whole collectibles and market are one more time. Bodanchik, it's a vision. Take a petanya. But why did you teach me this earlier? Mama, I can't do this in the washing machine. Now only I've realized what life actually is. Meet the Zoomers. I'm going to list that product there, the blue color Jordan 1 Travis Scott X Fragment Design on this app called Elias. Elias app is actually a selling platform for marketplace to sell brand new and used shoes. So I'm going to search the product name. So once I found it, I'm going to click sell. So I actually paid for this shoe about in the 1,600 Sing dollars range, which is about 1.2k USD. So it was brand new. So I actually am looking to list it at about 700 USD for this used pair. Ramus used to flip limited edition sneakers, but today he isn't flipping. Instead, he's selling his own used collection to raise capital for his new business venture. So for me, this is my most favourite shoe. And, but right now, my new venture it needs funding for it, so there's some sacrifices have to be made. My relationship with my dad is very close. I'll consult him if I face difficulties. Since he is currently doing his own business, I was thinking to do this new business venture. What type of business? So it's more of an inventory management system too. Then who will be your user? I'm looking to start with individual resellers, then eventually moving on to store owners. So far, anybody doing it? Nobody has done it before. How much is the project? Okay, so to get the project off the ground, it's about a good about 60, 70k sing. So I'm actually planning to liquidate my NFT to actually put into this new business venture as well. How much do you expect? A good at least 40k sing. But 40k, is it good enough for you to sustain? Then after that, including of other three business ventures that I did, so now you're throwing everything into these new projects. What I'm worried, uh, will you lose all your money? Do I always hit the advice? I think it, there's a 20% that I usually don't hit the advice. There's sometimes that it came back to bite me. There was one time, actually, my mom told me, say, it's no good partnering with this person since his background and whatever he can bring to the table would not be really beneficial. So I did not listen to her. 
At the end of the day, we didn't manage to do the venture together and that was not fun, uh, the experience. <laughs> In India, a 16-year-old is harboring similarly huge ambitions. Well, um, if I had to, you know, sort of map everything that's happening in my life, uh, the most important thing would obviously be having my own hospital, be a doctor in this hospital, like not work for anybody else. The next big thing in my life was learning how to make money. I like to play football, drums and piano. So uh, my dream, the ultimate dream is to you know, pay for my medical college, but without these my parents' money, you know. Now that's a noble ambition for a kid whose parents can pay for his med school three times over. Although how he's intending to achieve his dream may raise some eyebrows. For cryptocurrency, what I do is, here you can see your current portfolio, your past 24 hours, your gain or your loss. Literally any coin in the world you can search, even commodities like gold, stuff like that. I have to day trade, basically meaning, you know, buy low, sell high in the same day. Kevin started his crypto journey at 15 and has been hooked ever since. Now, cryptocurrencies have been swept up in a sell-off across high-risk assets. There's been a lot of losses, a lot of retail investors, particularly in emerging markets. It's been a roller coaster ride for crypto investors. Cryptocurrencies are making a slight recovery after wild swings over the past 24 hours. I'll be honest, cryptocurrency mainly runs on the speculation. The volatility of the market, that's what mainly made me go crazy. Panic selling, stuff like that. I have lost so much of money just by stupid decisions. So then uh, they wouldn't even believe me you know, if I told them I lost $2,000. They'd be like, what, whose money is that? But how does a 16-year-old even find 2,000 US dollars to lose? I was addicted to sneakers. But I can't go to my mom and say, you know, I want a pair of Jordan and this 15,000 rupees. Can you get me one? She'll just kick me out of the house, right? So what I did first was I had this sneaker reselling a company. It was called Kick-Ass Hype. I was buying from the sellers and then selling for a higher amount. When you, you know, make a name in this industry, people tend to make deals with you in return for, you know, a reference or stuff like that. So I get like a margin of, let's say, 3,000, 4,000 on each shoe. So by doing this in three months' time, we were huge on Instagram. The global sneaker resale market was worth about 6 billion US dollars in 2019. By 2030, it's projected to reach 30 billion. Pushing these numbers are teenage traders who have used social media and online marketplaces to sell and trade Jordans, Yeezys, and all types of limited edition shoes. Ramus used to buy and sell in that market, but he's moving on to building an app that will change the way sneakerheads trade. And he's assembling an international team to do that. So what you see right now on my screen is a server on the online community, where in this server I will usually search for freelancers. I managed to identify one graphic designer to work for me. So having a freelancer like this is actually helping with our budget since my business is just a startup. We only pay per project basis. After the graphic designer does up the user interface, Ramus needs to get his CTO, who he met on a sneaker Discord group, to translate the design into code. Hi, bro, can you hear me? Maybe can you do a run-through? Sure, great. Um, so technically speaking, we're using React on the front end. So the first step was to take the design elements that we had in the UI and code React components. The plan is pretty cool. Okay, so actually my whole team of eight are all older than me. I feel that it's really, really easy to work with older people due to the fact that they are more mature, they understand that deadlines have to be met and quality of work has to be up to standard as well. 
for school projects, I would have to constantly repeat or their ideas might not make sense and they are more stubborn if I would say so. Nama aku Bella. Jadi sekarang aku itu seorang pro gamer sama pelajar. Terus sekarang aku tinggal di gaming house. Waktu aku join gaming house ini emang dari awal udah dikasih tahu sih kayak harus ikutin peraturan mereka. Ini ada teflon, nggak dicuci. Ini lu kan, Bel? Iya. Lu habis goreng nugget kan tadi? Iya. Cuci, sini. Lu gini tuh saya gue denda lah. Lu seminggu ini udah kena denda kayak... tiga kali. Ini yang keempat nih. Gaji lu habis buat gini-ginian doang nih. Aku dibilangin terus direnda sama kocokku. Terus ya udah dimarahin depan teman-teman, ya aku malu lah. Kunci kesuksesan yang kita percaya di MBR itu memang kedisiplinan dan kebersihan ini udah sangat mendasar. Kayak contohnya misalkan kenapa? Karena jadi tidak menggampangkan hal-hal kedisiplinan seperti ini. Besides cleaning up after yourself, the girls also have to abide by other rules, such as sleep by 11 p.m., wake by 6 a.m., and not go out without permission. But it's been a struggle for Bella, not just to toe the line, but also to keep to her schedule. As the only full-time student in the team, Bella has to spend eight hours a day attending classes. Obey the curfew. Sekarang aku lagi sesi English gitu, masih online school. Gurunya bakal ajar laut Zoom gitu. It's just not strong enough to be assigned to a family yet. Web disorder became harm. Aku final iran kayak last year di high school lah. Abis itu aku ke university. Stressful. Ya. Di sini tuh kayak second year tuh kayak persiapan buat last year yang preparing for university kan. Aku biasanya latihan, aku kadang miss. The juggling is taking its toll on Bella and her team. Ya jadi di game ini waktu itu kita kayak dikasih goal buat capai rank poin. Kita kan kita main berlima kan, berlima. jadi jadi kita mencapai target. Nabila itu nggak nyampe target. Aku ngebuat seluruh timku dihukum itu, ya perasaanku nggak enak. Daran ke berapa? Ini ke berapa nih dia? Delapan. Delapan. Udah boleh nggak dua belas lagi sih? Kayak harus benar-benar ngejar gitu. Capek banget soalnya ini dua belas. Seratus dua puluh lah kalau dua belas putaran. Sumpah ini capek banget sih. Sangat, jangan sampai besok gini lagi. Jadi sekarang itu jam 11 malam dan seharusnya aku udah jam tidur tapi karena aku perlu ngejar rank point karena kalau misalnya nggak kecapai besok minggu itu ya bakal kena hukuman, lari dan satu tim kena. Okay, let's begin. Hello everyone. My name is Steve. What are you going to do for your vacation?
As you may recall, Xiying is thriving as a leader in a privately run club that teaches life skills to children and teenagers. But with exams coming up, mum is worried that this ninth grader won't be able to juggle. The senior high school entrance exams determine which route Xiying takes one that prepares her for university or one that takes her to a vocational institute. And most parents in China would rather their child take the more prestigious university route. Full score for these exams is 710. To enter a good public senior high school last year, the cutoff point was 507. And getting to a good senior high is key to then getting into university later. Tasho while going through Bella's phone we found that she's been going big on food deliveries Aku mau nraktir teman-temanku aja sih beliin mereka makanan. Ya mereka latihan terus capek, terus ya udah. Ya biar mereka senang juga. Jadi hari ini kita makan ayam geprek. Aku sama Isna makan ayam geprek. Kalau hari ini doang. Karena bingung. Eh, ini bukan ayam geprek, Nak. Ini ayam gepuk. Di dalam satu tim sih penting banget kalau buat relationship. Kalau misalnya ada hubungan yang enggak enak, jadinya ya nanti hancur juga di eksekusi game-nya gitu. Halo, Bella. Halo. Lagi ngapain? Lagi main HP aja. Di sini sini. Jadi aku punya satu team member namanya Sarah, tapi biasanya aku panggil Shine karena itu nama in game dia. Jadi dulu tim lama aku sekarang tinggal aku sama Shine. Eh, lu inget gak sih yang malam itu gue nangis, yang gue bilang lebih kecuek itu kayak masing-masing gitu nggak bisa welcome sama orang yang baru. Aku juga bingung sih kenapa 
dia bisa sejahat itu gitu. Awalnya kayak ber- gue berasa ini kayaknya cuma pikiran gue doang. Sehari-hari mereka tuh kayak ngata-ngatain Shine misalnya kayak freak, bocah kampung, dia ada duduk pasti kayak pada pindah gitu-gitu. Pas manajemen tahu tentang kondisi ini, mereka mutusin buat ya mencat dua orang ini. Terus yang tiga ini mutusin buat resign. Aku sendiri pernah sih dibully, tapi nggak yang separah si Shine dibully ini. Jadi timku yang sekarang ini, tim baru. Nah, aku sendiri ini ya cuma profesional aja. Jadi udah aku tetap temenan sama mereka yang raktir mereka makanan gitu-gitu. Soalnya ya mereka seneng juga, aku jadi seneng. While Bella is winning friends, Kevin is staring at the possibility of losing his pals. You see, Kevin has been accepted into a special program for aspiring medical students. The residential program prepares Kevin for the tough admission exams into medical schools. But it's at a school in Pala, two hours drive from Kochi, where he now lives. Kevin can forget about hanging out with his friends, let alone play video games with them. Instead, he should brace himself for long hours, as well as tough rules on phone usage and home visits. That's what you, oh my God. Just don't go to Pala. <laughs> Just don't go to Pala. Who wants to be a doctor? Doctors, 1970 stuff. That's the thing. So I have that curiosity for science. And eventually I figured, you know, medicine was... Okay, two years, think about it. There's no, you're, you're not meeting your friends. You get your phone for one hour a day. <laughs> one hour a day. Kev, Kev, you know you can't check crypto. Okay, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. And so crypto, my plan is, you know, just keep some safe investments that'll like give me a good ROI in two years. Everything's going to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're damn motivated. <laughs> because you're sacrificing everything for mm-hmm. Pala. Mm-hmm. What if you reach a point where you, you feel like Pala is not it? What do you do then? Because you've given up on everything else. No, no. I'm telling you. And I've asked seniors, I've asked people that even went to Pala. And I see, the thing is, in medicine, no, for me, it's not like, you know, just reach that mediocre level. I just want to go for that top. So for that, that sacrifices that you make, this yeah. way, nah. Guys, come on, man. Just no, motivate me for this. Kev, Kev, I feel like you slipped up, buddy. I feel like you slipped up. Mitu, how much time is it, Mitu? Come out. Mitu, who is going to call you like this every time when you go to school? Mitu, what are you doing there? It is about 45 minutes since you have been there. Come out. Well, I locked myself in the bathroom because I felt, you know, overwhelmed by everything that's happening right now. You know, I s- suddenly, you know, missed my friends, family and like realized what's gonna happen for the next two years. So yeah, that just kicked in for a while and you know. Me too. She's been brought up so protected here and especially my mom, she's very protective of him. <laughs> Literally the second he steps out, she wants to know where he is. She won't stop calling. So I feel like everyone's gonna be really worried about that. Me to come out. Mitt. He'll be fine. Just give him some time. The biggest thing was, you know, realizing that I won't be coming back here for like a month uh, and I've never been, you know, away from my family or house for that long. So today what's happening is actually my secondary school friends coming over to my place. I meet them weekly. Race by five. Race by eight. All in. So what have you guys been up to? Uh, you know, both of us take the same mods, you know, like, oh. them stress uh, a lot of papers. Past few months, actually, been talking with potential clients about, like, my new system. So, really hectic. So what is so different with your new business? So, it's actually building a unicorn-based company at about a $1 billion valuation once completed. Billion as in B? 
Yeah, billion like, yeah, B. With a B. Shack or not? Damn Shack. I think that's a pretty cool lah. Like you have your own business at your age. Compared to us lah. <laughs> At times, I do question myself, why am I putting myself going through all these things that eventually one might go through in their work life. I barely even see you play Valor. Me? He yeah. does, eh? I does. Yesterday you were playing. Yeah, yesterday I was playing like one game. Many people go through the same life cycle of getting education, come out with a student debt about 30-40k, and then head towards your first job, pay off your debt after three years, and then you have to purchase your house, another debt as well. So I don't want to fall into that cycle of constantly living your life from debt to debt. Wait a minute. Didn't your mom object to you leading club activities? Yeah, you my 你看到了几只孔雀？三只，三只，有几只孔雀在开屏？三只，对。Today's event is supposed to follow a strict schedule, but Xing's handpicked deputy is falling short again. Wow, you're not going to make it. Come on, come on. I'm telling you, it's only one hour. Ah, you're too late. You look at what time it is now. Do 嗯，今天我十一点四十到的，然后你是两点零六到的，那么就比活动开始迟到了六分钟，所以以后就提早来，不迟到，提前准备好工作啊。你回去就是总结一下自己的那个内容，我我晚上会点评你。左边左边两下
Over at the gaming house, Bella too is struggling with towing the line. Mm, ya di sini nggak boleh. Ya udah sih terima aja soal emang benar kayak kalau misalnya aku mikirin sekolah terus game tuh udah hard gitu loh udah berat juga buat aku kalau cari cowok lagi apalagi cowoknya nyusahin ya. Oh so she claims. Care to tell us who is Hesky? Sounds like a boy's name to me. Astaga, ya dia cuma gara-gara kenal dari Mobile Legends kan. Jadi kayak ya udah kita sering main, sering tukar pikiran gitu lah tentang game ini. Belum pernah ketemu. Itu kalau misalnya di Mobile Legends itu ada yang namanya Affinity, terus kayak aku partner sama dia. Terus ini kayak ada album dia dan di situ ada ya fotoku. Jadi dia posting fotoku di profilnya gitu. Terus ya Affinity is a relationship that is established between two players who play enough matches together and send each other gifts. I suppose an in-game boyfriend? Ada special interest romantic. Eh, uh, uh, itu secret. Jadi lu udah jadi lu lagi ngapain tuh, Bel? Cari yang mana tuh? Enggak ada. Dan tuh pegang HP? Ih, orang cuma scroll-scroll IG. Oh, lu deket sama cowok yang di sekolah juga? Atau lu kayak deket cowok sama cowok tuh kayak cuma dari ML gitu? Ya, pasti ada gak sih di sekolah? Ya, deket sama cowok tuh bisa! Tapi bukan sebagai cowok yang anjir! Tapi sebagai temen doang, ya ampun. Masa lu gak pernah deket sama cowok? Maksudnya deket deket ngobrol. Emang cewek sama cowok bisa temenan? Bisa lah. Lu gak bisa. <laughs> Kalau mau ada pacar sih sebenarnya kayak mau sih kayak ada seseorang yang bisa aku curahin aja gitu semuanya ke dia kayak misalnya tentang masalahku atau kayak sehari-hariku ya nggak ya saling support satu sama lain gitu. Jadi waktu manajemen MBR kasih tahu aku kalau misalnya aku nggak boleh ada cowok itu aku ya reaksiku sebenarnya kayak ya lumayan nggak terima soalnya kan itu sebenarnya aku kan tapi ya. Mereka buat itu supaya aku fokus di e-sport ini sama di sekolah cuma kayak dua itu doang. Jadi dari akunya susah. Lagi apa, Bel? Biasalah. Sekolah. Gak nung, gak ini, gak ikut latihan. Ya kayaknya gue angkat dulu deh. Masih banyak yang perlu gue kerjain soalnya. Oh ya, Saf, yang kemarin itu. Kalau nggak salah, orang tua lu kurang setuju gak sih? Emang kurang setuju. Kan cuma saat itu tuh gue emang minta gap year. Terus itu perasaan orang tua lu gimana? Kayak mereka setuju kah lu ambil gap year gitu? Awalnya enggak. Awalnya ya pasti nggak setuju berhenti kuliah. Tapi kayak aku berusaha meyakinkan kayak berjanji, bikin perjanjian gitu. Kayak semua yang udah mereka keluarin buat aku kuliah ya aku harus balikin gitu. Terus soalnya mereka ngeliat juga aku sepassionate itu. Terus ujung-ujungnya orang tua tuh setuju berhenti. Mungkin kayak orang tua tuh pasti punya hati gitu loh, kasih terus ngeliat anaknya berusaha keras itu sama apa yang dia mau. Kenapa harus gue tahan? Kalau apalagi kalau kamu bisa membuktikan dengan kamu menang, juara gitu kan? Semenjak kemarin tuh, Papa lihat kan ada turnamen tuh. Hmm? Turnamen otomatis kan latihannya sampai malam ya? Iya, tapi waktunya masih ini kan, masih, masih bisa lah ya? Iya, masih aman. Sebenarnya aku ada rencana buat ngomong ke papaku tentang ambil gap year, tapi ya aku belum ngasih tahu sih ke dia. Ya menurutku susah sih buat ngomong tentang kemauanku ke orang tua, soalnya orang tua ya maunya aku sekolah, maunya aku kuliah, maunya pendidikan aku lancar gitu. Aku harus cari satu cara buat ubah pikiran orang tua aku. Hostel list has come. List for what? Wait, wait, the list of your roommates. What? Ah, let's come, let's see. Oh, you're gonna have a party. Eight guys in one room. What? Ah, eight in one room. Eight Bye. people. Yeah. Yeah. No gadget. Are you serious? No smartphone, no you smart me no. watch. Wait, so I can't take my phone to Pala. You can take a phone, no gadget. but not smartphone. The same, the, your What's grand... the... 
The same kind of phone that your grandpa uses, you know, that same button one. What the hell? I got super pissed off. I was like, what the hell am I? I thought I can use my phone every day for half an hour. I love going through the world. Like, what is happening right now? You know, the news, current affairs. But yeah, and obviously music too, not listening to music. I can't imagine how that's gonna be. Because like, music has always been a part of my life. You know, I wake up, I listen to music, I sleep, I listen to music. Not having that is gonna be hard. He will have to wash his clothes. Oh, what are you saying? You have to do your own laundry, Mito. You can't shout in the night saying, I want what my the, white uh, one jersey to go around. Laundry is basically just taking your clothes and putting it into one thing, no? <laughs> and then putting some powder or something. Come on, this is a hostel. You have to, 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 you have to take guys, care of yourself. That's, guys, this, you know, washing your clothes is part of it. Why am I doing this? Tomorrow I'll teach you how to wash your clothes. Another option. Kevin, it is nine da. Mitakuta, get up. Mitakuta, you're going to go to a boarding school. Nobody is there to wake you up. Mm, not... Mitakuta, when you go to the boarding school, you will have to do your own laundry. So I'll teach you how to wash. I mean, you have such a big school and you sponsor a washing machine for them. It is not about that, Mone. It is about having a discipline in your life. I've never washed my clothes in my life. I don't know, I've never even seen people. I've only seen in the movies and stuff. And I always told my dad, you know, when he teaches me about discipline, you know, washing your own clothes, washing your dishes, I always told him, what's the problem? I'll just get a maid when I grow up. But why did you teach me this earlier? Because you did not tell me that you wanted to go into a residential school earlier. Sure. Pour some more water into it. Pour the water. Okay. What happened? Bad mm -hmm. So that is the hardest, so I'll show you how to do it with the small one, the socks, okay? You have to do like this. Oh god. Okay? Okay, now you do it. Mama, see, I'll tell you what happens. Uh -huh. In Pala, I just wear one t-shirt for like the whole week. Okay. It's too high. So I wash a pair of my, one of my t-shirts, shorts, and a pair of my socks. And socks were the hardest, my god, that smelled like it's bad, very bad. <laughs> I'm going to figure a way where people are going to do it for me. No chance I'm doing this by myself. Aha. Uh -huh. What is this, Mittu? Oh my god. To empty your pockets before you put them for a wash. Oh my god. <laughs> no, keep washing. What do you have all your muscles for? Not for this. My name is uh, Li Xin. I'm from chi uh, China. Uh, my family live in uh, Chengdu, Longquan. I'm a interesting girl uh, because I'm very humorous. My family is very. Uh, uh, my mom uh, uh, um, <laughs> 确实不行了，我确实不会了。这个就是上课老师，然后他就是答题，然后选项，然后还有就是说他的级倍数，一堂课两个小时，题一人五倍，要省差不多十半个小时吧。如果是两倍省一个小时，周末我一般就是周六到周天补，虽然就是以后就是
过来换点水哦。现在听啥子歌？听英语课噻。你有时候我看到你放一点五倍，有时候甚至两倍，你放一个两倍看看我听下看。就像，真的就像那个小刘一直哒哒哒哒哒在叫，我觉得挺好的，有点时间。他就这样子把一堂课给听完了。我觉得这个网课它补起来不算是特别大的有用啊。这个中学在我们这个地区是第一好的重高，如果上了的话，你读大学的几率会更高。呃，这里我们自己写的就是加油加油加油，然后有一个 hard 努力的意思。对，主要就是英语要努力，就因为希望他努力一点。China made English seen as the language of global business a compulsory subject in 2001, the same year it joined the World Trade Organization. English is now one of three subjects, alongside Chinese and maths, that carry the highest weightage for any sort of enrollment exams. 吃饭。吃吃吃吃吃。来，好吃。来，高兴吗？你要说那个，主要是你还，你马上中考了，中考哈，考得好。这个是我妈这边大家庭，就一共是有九个小家庭组成，就有四五十个人的样子。我呢是零八年到成都来，当时来这边的时候是我们家一个姐姐，她呢是上了大学，然后到这边来找到工作，落地在这边，后边我们这边就带了一个带一个，一个带一个啊，所以其实我觉得上学是非常重要的一件事情。你看我们屋头，啊，欢欢姐姐是谁？对呀，她读的哪个大学？中山。呃，十二姐姐读的是，也是二幺幺学校嘛，所以其实。湖南师范。欢欢姐姐，人家读的是中山大学，读了之后，人家就在气象局工作了，现在年收入不一年光奖金都是十多万的话，是不是？我觉得，哪怕我成绩不好，没有读书不是我的出路，我不不用啃老，我可以靠自己的能力吃饭。马上中考了，啥子目标？考多少分？我要考这边考中高嘛，考杭州噻，都五百三、五百四噻。就这点目标不？我平时都只考这么多的嘛。等你马上复习啊，往前头再冲点儿噻。冲嘛，还冲好多分。英语怎么考好多分嘛啦？英语英语考一百。<笑>我觉得有点低了，我起码最少要一百三差不多。The total Sheen can score for an English paper is one hundred and fifty. If English drags her down, her chances of enrolling in a good senior high school are slim, and that in turn affects her chances for a good university. Three years down the road. 麻烦你们来，就把希望都集中在医生上面。你看人家拿拿几拿拿几，你不要大不要说他们那几家人的。你好好读书，才出去。你那个路不好读书，也还是出去。嗯，来少点。啊，那我们家现在这些姐姐妹妹，嗯，发展下来之后，那每家的孩子都在上大学啊，所以说我们肯定也是必须要向前面的哥哥姐姐看齐的。Talk about pressure. But she's not the only one feeling the heat. I leave for the training institute tomorrow morning. So, Things that I'll be missing at home is uh, probably, you know, the food that Amma makes. It's amazing. Nowhere I'll find food glad. <laughs> Your father. You have to wash your plates. You have to wash your clothes. Wow. Wash your plates. Yes. That is how it is. When that adds to washing your own clothes. And waking up by yourself. Yes. I yes. think that's going to be the hardest one. For him to wake up, I have to go call him every day. Your bathroom is going to be my motivation. I'm getting in there <laughs> first. <laughs> you know, my sister, we're super close. We fight, we tell our secrets, all of that. We gossip before going to bed for like two hours. And you know, just being with my parents, that, that security and that comfort that I feel, which I won't get now, um, that also scares me. But those are the things that I'll be missing the most when I leave. Tomorrow's going to be so emotional. And with Kevin, though, I'm just waiting to see if he's going to cry because he never shows his emotions out. So, um, 
um, after dinner, you know, my parents and my sister, we just had this sort of a gathering where I played piano and my sister sang for them. So yeah, it was very special, you know. I gifted your mama with her first gift. This is the best keypad phone, you know, I could find in town. The most cutest one yet. Zopani didn't see it. He'll have radio, bro. What do you want me to see? It's a button phone, man. This is all you can use. It's really cute. It's going to be really tough. Really tough on all of us. Because he was somebody who was a very integral role in each one of us, you know. For me, he's my son, but I would say more than a son, he was my friend. We used to discuss everything, you know. So then there is going to be a big back room. It's a cute one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Means a lot. You're the best. Save my number already, you know? Yeah. Just as Kevin is psyching himself up to leave home, a bombshell hits. I just got back to my room after that amazing dinner that we just had in the living room. And uh, my parents got an SMS. It was the RT-PCR results. So I just got my results and it's positive. So basically, to enter Pala, I need an RT-PCR test and it has to be negative. So I need to sleep, but I'm super upset. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen now. <laughs>